Okay, so <laughs> I'm doing a bit more with this browsing slash research. Um, I've not been looking at places in the outback. Uh, but for first, I have to. There's this place called oh, Ku, Ku, oh, Kuber Petty, right? And in this place, it's like a cobalt or opal. Well, there's, a, there's like a big opal miner type thing. And the people in this place, they live like they've got houses that are dug into the, um, like for instance, Cooper Petty underground motel room. See, these are in, into the um, rock, you see? And you can actually. For instance, uh, let's search for it. It's actually in South Australia. Uh, no. Um, hmm, what am I looking for? Look at how cheap this land is. What I'm looking for is a uh, house. I'm looking for houses that are dug into the. I did find one before. Uh, and, uh, let's, um, mm, Anyway, um, you have to look at the videos. It's uh, see, so the, the the see these are they have opal mines. I get out of here. Um, uh, see, see, this town is sometimes referred to as the opal capital of the world because of the quantity of precious opals that are mined here. Kuba Petty is renowned for its below ground residences called dugouts, which are built in this fashion due to the scorching daytime heat. <laughs> Kuba Petty comes from the, uh, from the Aboriginal term Kupa Petty, which means white feathers hole. <laughs> so, like, um, let's go to the. Uh, Look at the, these are the te this is like a, like a fallout like you know like the gang full on you have these huge houses and stuff and I saw one for like hundred and thirty thousand like look at these huge places uh, like <laughs> they got wash everything everything in it like see I think this is a motel or something um, I thought that was like so f so fantastic. Um, Let's see here. Her filters. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see if there's any like that. Oh yeah, here's a dwelling inside. Look, this is one of those places. Is look, it's inside the. Look at that. This is inside the. Um, rock it's got everything in it like like it's got bathrooms and everything and this one's what 140 grand six bedroom three bathroom house uh, let's look at this <laughs> I just find this so, like unbelievable look at it this is inside the it's called a dugout Apparently the reason they do this is because it's so hot in the, in the outback. I think this is just like a fantastic kind of a thing. Um, right, so they got a few there. 
great how they get through there. Um, let's see now. So what I've been doing, <laughs> I've been looking at the Outback and uh, like, well, you know, just, <sighs> um, I am browsing and uh, this site called, she was like, <laughs> All these different places in the outback. Uh, okay, let's let's. What is this? So you got camel racing. Um, okay, let's see if they've got. Let's B O U L I A. Yeah. How do I search this? See if they have anything. Yeah. Oh, oh, they got a house here. It's forty-five grand. Uh, look at that. That looks all right. For forty-five grand, you can own a house right in the middle of the outback. <laughs> and I'm seriously like thinking about this. It's like. Plus, no front with ceiling fans, vinyl flooring, and security screens throughout. Plus, no front neighbors. <laughs> you don't want to miss this. <laughs> Let's see, like, where this place is. Oh, no, it is in some kind of a residential area. Well, apparently, maybe there's no neighbors here, I guess to say. Um, all right, so there was, uh, let's see what else is here. And what is this? A population of 350 people. Uh, all right. Uh, okay. I think most of these like um, Aboriginal names here. All right, so there's never anything there. Um, yeah, it's only 350 people, so... <laughs> um, no, I did check this birds will... Birds... Oh, but they have surrounding suburbs, they've got some... Uh, let's see what this is... Again, this is like only 45 grand, it's like... That looks like it now. Uh, oh, but it's under off for like. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> um, what's this? Why do I feel very embarrassed? Why do I feel very embarrassed? Yeah, I did tell my mom and brother. I'm gonna. I'm thinking of going to Western Australia and getting an organic farm. Uh, but still, like, I mean, let's just do the map thing. The map thing is uh, you can do it more interactively type. Uh, oh man, okay. Uh, oh, that, that's amazing. Places near the beach are like really expensive, like like maybe this one might be so expensive. Oh. See it's like a million like if it let's just check this one out, it's like really close to the sea. Oh what a view man. What a view. Oh man, this must be a million plus oh my goodness, this has to be a multi million dollar property. Look at it. Hi. Uh, let's see. Oh my goodness, this place is really expensive. It's called Port Douglas. Wow, this place is really expensive. I guess this must be some kind of a. I guess Port Douglas might be some kind of a. <laughs> um, 
you know, like an, uh, a significant kind of place, like a industrial place. Yeah, here it's quite expensive. Alright, All right, so we can tell that that place is quite expensive. Uh, where is it? It's right there! It's right there! You see where it is? It's there. It's there. Yeah, that's 45. He went here, Alice Springs. Like right in the middle of Australia is called Alice Springs. Even there, it's like, um, uh, you know, like, um, because people actually, it's like a, an area that is sought after. So even here, things that are like decently, like, you know, decently priced. So it's not like, cheap or anything because that's right in the middle of the Australian territory but if you go away from the middle and like go really into these desert type places like this is only this is 55 grand here it is all right Oh, let's see. see here these places are not that high. What's this? <clears throat> oh. Dish. I think it depends on the type of like this is one forty five. What does this look like? Oh. I think it's the flooring looks nice. Why am I so obsessed with this now? I feel like I feel like getting a house is a, like a like I, mean, I was thinking about like renting, right? But when you're renting you're just paying money off to someone else. And if I want to pay like $250 a week why don't I just pay that $250 $50 to like my own house you know why do I want to pay someone else's you know like apparently like uh yeah I only have <laughs> I actually googled this like can you get like a home loan if you're on like Centrelink benefits and apparently you know, like, can you get a home loan? Let's see, home loan center link. Can I get a house loan on center link? If you're looking to buy a house and receive income from center link, you can apply for a home loan. Uh, as there are many different types of something like benefits, loan approval is likely to differ depending on the lender and the borrower situation. For example, a lender is unlikely to approve you for a loan if something like is your only source of income. Your chances of being approved will improve if someone in your household is in paid employment. Some lenders will accept borrowers with sole income such as single parents and those on war veteran pensions, but their interest rate is likely to be higher. It does vary from lender to lender, so it's a good idea to chat to a you know, expert to find out more. Right, let's see the 
Can a disability pension I get a home loan? Yes, a disability pension is usually considered a valid form of income by lenders. Also, it all comes down to whether or not you can comfortably repay the loan using the income amount you receive. You will also need to provide supporting documentation such as bank statements and a letter from Centrelink confirming your disability pension. It's best to speak to a unit expert about how about your options as you as to borrowing power will vary from lender to lender. How can I get a house with low income? That's right, I have low income. If you have low income, you can still apply for a home loan, but your options might be limited. How much you can borrow depends on two factors. The lender's policies play a part, but the most important factor is your income amount. If you want to get an idea of how much you can borrow, calculate your fortnightly income, then multiply that amount by 26 to find your annual... Uh, okay, let's, let's do this... I mean, this is just one uh, thing. Uh, let's say... Uh, let's see... Mm. Let's say, I mean, I don't want to like, I'm just going to put an estimate. Oh, that looks nice. Two thousand meter square house. I think I'll just put like hundred grand, less than a hundred grand. The thing is, I don't want to. I want to pay it off quick. So I don't want to like be on some thing for a long time. So I don't know if I want to go that much. Let's go to the. Let's filter this. Let's put a maximum price of seventy-five. <laughs> Let's see if we can get anything under that range. Oh shit. I did find some. Wait, I just... No, I did find a lot under uh, 75. Um, let's get to Western Australia. Okay, so there are 34,641 properties for sale. Let's see if we can. Let's see what's under 50,000. See, there are 435 properties under 50,000. Let's say... Let's say it should have at least one bed. How much is the studio? How much is that? Like, let's just say it's a one bed. Alright, so there are 39 properties in the whole of Western Australia that are less than 50 but have one... Uh, Let's see. I need one bathroom. You know, let's see. Oh, it's still 39. Um, let's give for. <laughs> now, I, I'm just. I just want to, like, uh, start off somewhere. Like, I'm not, like, thinking about getting the best place in the. Alright, this is thirty thousand dollars. Let's see what this is. Thirty grand. <laughs> Offer this challenging property, ready to demolish or do a major renovation. Are you ready for the challenge? Okay, that that might be a bit much. Uh, I don't know if I can take on challenges. Alright, it's, it's oh shit, fuck. Alright, this this definitely is gonna go. No, 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 no. Okay, that's that. That's no in one way. That's why I like tell you. Okay, let's let's leave that. Um, what is this? Oh, that's uh, I don't know why they put those ads. Okay, this is a terrace, thirty-five. Let's see what that looks like. Uh, that looks kind of okay. 
go. What is this? Uh, two units on offer. Uh, new carpets, one bedroom, one with space. I currently rented out an overnight stay, and I'm very busy. But you have to pay like a, a rate. One thousand two hundred cent per round. All right. I mean, that's a bit like. What's uh, uh, that's this? Oh, it says it's under offer. Um, uh, let's see what this looks like. It's at least it's not like falling apart like the other one. There's barely anything there. Uh, two bedroom, one bathroom, cottage. Oh, they got air conditioning. See, that's good. Mm. What's this? See, you can get for 35, 36. Mm. This. So it's not, you're not uh, like uh, you know um, prospects aren't, aren't hopeless. I saw this the other day. Offers over thirty nine. Okay, let's see what the pictures say. <laughs> uh, I guess it's this. It's, 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 it's like a. Uh, why do they have lots of... <laughs> Alright, so where is this thing? I guess it's this thing, it's like this, in this kind of place. Let's see. Mm. Are you a first homeowner? See, see the, the, there's this thing called, if, if the government gives you like some... Uh, if you're like a first homeowner in Australia, like... Uh, if they give you a first home on a grant, the first home on a grant scheme was introduced on 1 July 2000 to offset the effect of the GST on home. It is a national scheme funded by the state and uh, the scheme. Under the scheme, a one off grant is payable to first home owners that satisfy all the eligibility criteria. Sure. What is that? Mm. The grant is not means tested, so your income will not affect your eligibility for the grant. You must be 18 years over. It's one of them must be a street resident or permanent resident. Uh, they, you shouldn't have previous grant. You shouldn't have owned any property. Well, I haven't owned any property, so. You must occupy the home as your principal place of residence for a continuous period of at least six months. I guess they don't want uh, this to be given to people who invest. Uh, you know, this is for people who actually want to buy the house. You must hold a relevant interest in ownership in the land. Oh, you must own the land on which the home is situated. Or, and you must own the home in your own capacity. If you own the home as a trustee, it must be held on trust for the legal, uh, the, the legal disability. Uh, the value of your transaction may affect your ability to have the total value of the home and library to be with it. South to the trading spell, the value of land and buildings of this server feed server. All Perth metropolitan areas are south of this. So you can you can get like buy property that's less than seven fifty, and they will give you like grand. How much is the grand? So, 
Okay, the grant is ten thousand dollars or the consideration paid to buy or build a house if less than that amount. Only one grant. Okay, so you get ten grand. Okay, so you get uh, the uh, here. All right, so you get ten grand. The government gives you ten grand. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, forty. Uh, okay, let's just look at houses. 39, let's update. Okay, so it goes out there are 28 houses which have at least one bed or one bathroom and are less than 50 grand. This is like a... Oh, where is this place? Oh, Geraldton. So we, at least I can look at a map. Oh, it's close to the beach type place. Who is this? Let's look in the next place. Like, where's this? Uh... Oh, okay, so it's there. It's right there. Uh, where is Pert? This Pert is over there. Oh, Pert is down there, okay. So, where is that? Uh, okay, it's there. Okay, this is close to the beach. It's like. It has to be like on the furthest area. So it's like there, it's not too bad. We'll go to the beach or something. Mm. Yeah, let's see, there's only 44, so. Oh, the floors are good. The good thing about buying places here is like the houses aren't small. <sighs> Let's see, I, I did some calculation here, like, you know, they have a thing here, also, it was like... Okay, it's, but like, this is it, I get a loan for five years. That means I only have to pay $679 per month. That is it, they give me that first homeowner grant thing. So I have to be like, let's say I pay like 50 grand. That's less than like, for instance, right now, for living in my, my house, I pay like 700 bucks a month. So if I get this, I would only be paying like $754 a month. And that, that's, I can do that. It was only for like five years. So this isn't completely outside my thinking processes, you see? You see like, where is the thing where you can... 
let's say it's 50 grand and you get that first homeowner's thing and uh, no, I'm not employed <laughs> what I could possibly be employed uh, are you receiving no I don't get any uh, yeah. I'm receiving rent. No, I don't receive any rental income. Oh, I got my benefits. <laughs> Fortnightly. Uh, this is a. Oh, fuck. Why can't I do this? Why is it. Why can't I do anything? Gotta put it here. Oh, okay. Um, oh, this is calculated. Actually, I might be getting a bit more than that, but anyway. I don't have any credit cards, so that's good. This is a. It's a. Um, oh, look, I can borrow. Uh, with with what I have, I can borrow like one hundred twenty nine thousand dollars, right? Two hundred sixty, even though I only get uh, my disability support pension, and with uh, like this, this this is only like thirty nine grand. See, so my desire and ambition to move out and because when I'm thinking about renting I'm thinking why the hell would I pay $250 a week to rent when I can pay that same money to some place that's my own and I can pay it off in like five years or something like why don't I just do something like that okay let's just say uh, where is that thing okay, okay let's take a look at this fifty thousand dollars all right it's three bedroom there's a bit of pictures and I more pictures what uh, okay so let's see yeah you know, this says it's fifty thousand Let's say, yeah, five years, I only have to pay 754 per month, but let's say if it's, if it's like a property like 100,000. Oh yeah, for, for, that, that's, that's a bit much. <laughs> but if I put that to like 10 years, it goes down to 949. So it depends, like, so maybe getting around like, you know, like something like that like less than one grand per month is something I can do um, you know because I don't want to spend a lot of time paying for property you know I mean I could push this up to like I don't know like six or seven you know it goes down to like you know, maybe six whatever eight or one and who knows, by that time I could get into employment and I could just pay it off quickly, you know. I don't have to like be stuck. Like if I just put that as five. Oh, for the, uh, if I put it as five, I think this and then, you know, I could get something, some kind of work. Where is this? Let's see where this is located. Oh, it's down there. I don't even know where these places are. But I am spending a lot of time. Oh, they got Let's see what kind of a place this is. Uh, oh, I'll give you a sub profile.
Oh, the median house price it was fifty one thousand. Is the town located in this? Population is 574. <laughs> oh, this is the destination tourism. If you want to go in, <sighs> anyway, this is something I'm thinking. I'm not. I'm not saying I'm gonna like for sure or something. This is something like I'm thinking. You know, my thought process is. So if we like, for instance, increase this to, uh, where is that? Um, oh yeah, here we go. Let's just put it to 100. Oh, there's like 208 properties. What about the internet? How am I gonna get the internet? See, I gotta think about those things. Alright, let's click on broadband. Holy shit, that goes down to 6 very quickly. But this place has broadband. This is broadband. This is broadband. Oh wow, that looks pretty nice. Um, this one really look, it's just crashes a beach. It'll be really nice. Yeah, I love this. That looks fantastic. I wonder it's under offer. If you're keen to live near the beach, then you won't go wrong with this leasehold cottage. What the fuck does that mean? 30 June? What is it? No, forget it. <laughs> uh, it always has a catch. There is always a catch. But, but this is like 89. It has broadband in it. It has broadband. I can use the internet. I can use that internet. See, for, for 90 grand, I could. Uh, uh, that has to go. Maybe 10 years for that. Uh. Okay, I can afford that for 10 years. And then I can, like. Over the period of ten years, I might be able to like get get my life in order, and then you know, this looks nice. This looks like a nice place. Let's go. Is there in New South Wales? Oh shit, there are five. There are five with broadband in it. That's the catch, isn't it? If you want broadband, yeah, that's gonna be the catch. 
Hey, this looks alright. Where is this located? That's a nice floor. I like that floor. The bathroom looks nice. Let's see. See, it's got broadband in it. It's got air conditioning. It's got a water tank, pay TV. So th this is good. Where is it? Where is this place? Oh man, it's right in the middle of the outback. Okay, okay, that's not too bad. I mean, that's sort of what I'm thinking. So it's like it's not completely out of my realm of thinking and uh, thinking processes. Like it's got broadband in it. I don't like the other place. Uh, so there you go. See. This is sort of what I'm like thinking, like the, the idea of renting, this just occurred to me like why would I want to pay money to someone else when I can pay things for myself? Why would I pay, pay someone else? This is only 63,000 and it's got broadband in it. Look, it, it's got broadband in it. It's only 63. I don't care where I live, I just want to go and live somewhere with the cheapest house. Uh, <laughs> so I'm not like l limiting myself just to Western Australia. This one is like a complete, uh, it's falling apart, this one. This one looks pretty good. Well, it's got a carpet. Yeah, the thing is like, uh, when you, when you search for broadband, they're like... Northern Territory. Why don't I just put all of Australia? I don't even know. No, you won't have any here. Why did they put these two here? Oh, this is gonna be so expensive. No, that uh, be so expensive. This is Queensland. This has a broadband in the middle of nowhere. Are you kidding me? How is this having a broadband? Look, it's like in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> but how the hell? I wonder how much it costs to uh, uh, fit broadband, you know what I mean? So even if there's no broadband, I wonder how much it cost of broadband. In rural property. Uh, all right. 
I think you are like from home. Satellite. So. And this is a uh, satellite. So they got a satellite. A $1.8 billion satellite. Aimed at providing rural Australians. This is a godsend for any of us stuck out in small towns. It's hard to get infrastructure out of the bush, but the Envian satellite does exactly that. No more buffering bars. For, uh, at any point in time, the, this issue is just a one to hundred be uh, uh, All you need is an NBN Co satellite dish. Oh, it's been covered by the garment. So there is a way to get broadband using the satellite. So it's not completely slow. So it's like I don't have to like say, "Oh shit, this doesn't have broadband anymore." Like it's not like uh, that's probably how this person is getting it because it's like I mean they're living in the middle of nowhere, so obviously they have to have some kind of satellite thing. Uh, so I don't have to limit myself to say, because once you click that broadband, like it, it, the, the number of properties just drops. See, now it goes up to 222 from 4, and you got more of an option. So I don't have to limit myself to broadband, because I, I just have to check, hey, can you connect broadband to this place? I'm thinking of going into this place. What is this? Okay, anyway, I'll just leave it there. These are just some of the things I'm doing.